Here's a look at what's going to happen once you install Outline Designer. Uh, this is covering 1.3. So, see, I have organic groups on just so I can install that aspect. But Outline Designer now has its own tab because it has three modules associated with it. So there's Outline Designer as the core product, uh, the organic groups integration module that was added in uh, 1.2, and 1.3 introduces Outline Child Pages module. Uh, it's a separate module because it starts to get into some permissions changes. Um, so you, you're you going to want to play around with it before you go and implement it on a live site just so that you're aware of what the changes are. Uh, so after it's installed, I'm going to go to Admin, Content Management, Books, and you'll see I get a Usability tab. So I'll click Usability. See, there's some user interface things I can change. Um, new to 1.3, if you enable this module, is display outline child pages. Uh, so this can either appear as a tab or a link. I'll just have it as a tab because I like to work that way. Uh, whether to collapse things by default, you know, some of the, the menu themes in the context menu, that stuff's uh, stuck around from 1.2. Uh, something brand new, thanks to an awesome patch, is uh, context menu uh, now has permission. It's a per permissions-driven context menu. Uh, now, Outline Designer will always respect permissions with regards to you know, if you try to add a node and you don't actually have permission to do it, it'll tell you, hey, you can't do that. Uh, but this is giving users a different view of the context menu based on role. Uh, so you can see you can optionally remove any of the buttons for, uh, for the end user. So this is really nice when you have uh, multiple roles with the ability to use Outline Designer. Um, this is, the, I mean, you couldn't really do this as much in the past because you had to give out the admin books permission. Um, but thanks to the Outline Child Pages module, you can now give out permission to specific aspects of Outline Designer to specific roles. And I'll, I'll show what that looks like. Um, the, there's a new set of packaged icons as well, just to give you some variety. Uh, you have to change them manually, but they're there just to see what they look like. Um, so mentioned permission structure so let's go to user management here and we'll go to permissions so for in order to give people access to the outline designer traditionally they needed to have administered book outlines permission and that's a pretty hefty permission to give out really that's mostly just for admins because that is giving someone access to the content management books page so they have access to this it's essentially an administered nodes type of permission except for book ordering. Uh, so it's pretty beefy in terms of what you're giving out. So you really don't give that out to people. Um, but what you can give out for limited access to specific outlines that people have access to to outline is uh, if they have the add content to books permission. So then you know, hey, you're giving them uh, not the outline tab, but the drop down of the outline. So they could move it around and adjust the weights anyway in a very non-user friendly way. Um, so if they have that permission and, so I scroll down in here, outline own pages. So this way you could enable this module but not give people the ability to do this and they could still add content to pages in the traditional way. Uh, this will allow them to use the outline designer on things that they have access to. So uh, we go through those two checks and we also do a check for, you know, can you update the page that you're currently working on? Um, so obviously you have to have access to you know the outline or the edit button basically. Uh, so if you have those three, then you can give people permission. Uh, outline child pages is then going to add a tab here. So when I go through my book navigation, I'll go into uh, this. And I'll hit outline child pages. You'll see it's very similar to what you would get normally with Outline Designer. Uh, but if I go into lesson one, for example, and I hit outline child pages. Now I'm just given a view of the things that are underneath what I'm currently working on. Um, so in the next video, I'm going to show how, you know, what this looks like in different roles. That way you can, uh, you can see what the context menu change looks like.